Arabia are no coa. Kill a gare qual umma. Kill a gare quaina. Quintella qual aiter and yamaza. Quintella qual yam tabata and fun. Cook a hana in jail a qual. Cook a hana in jar of sa ata. Cook a hana in a sata and fun. À cette époque, je ne pouvais pas rêver. Comme chaque jour, je faisais des travaux ménagers. Je ne pouvais pas souvent aller à l'école et je n'arrivais pas à suivre en classe. Dans mon village, tout le monde pensait que l'étude n'était pas nécessaire pour les filles. Et j'ai accepté cette situation même si je voulais étudier. Mais, ça a fait la situation à changer. Je suis en train de faire des choses. 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 Oui, l'école pour tous m'a donné l'occasion d'étudier. Et les rêves l'ont venu, auquel j'ai commencé à renoncer et en fait à ma portée. West Africa has no notable resources, and there are many countries which are less developed. The Republic of Niger is one of the poorest countries in the world. In 2004, the enrollment rate of primary education was 52%, and girls accounted for less than 40% of those pupils. L'école est faite pour les garçons. C'est ce que mes parents m'ont dit que j'étais enfant. Comme moi, mes amis aidaient leurs parents tous les jours à la maison. Où est Aïki, garim, déjà, déjà, on a dit que nous avons eu un peu de temps. Nous avons eu un peu de temps. Nous avons eu un peu de temps. Nous avons eu un peu at school, there are problems like lack of classrooms and absence of teachers. Parents and the community lost their faith in school education. J'allais à l'école. Mais il n'y avait pas de table, ni chaise, ni cahier. En plus, l'enseignant ne venait pas souvent à l'école. À vrai dire, c'est pour ça que je n'aimais pas beaucoup étudier. À l'époque, les salaires ne parvenaient pas à terme issu. Voilà pourquoi on était souvent absent. De toute façon, que ce soit pour les logements, Où la nourriture, on avait des difficultés. On ne se mettait pas beaucoup au cours. Savoda, je suis un gagné ma OINDA de la colle. Parce que OINDA sont déjà été dans la colle. Moi, je suis allé à la marine. A ma aussi OINDA, je suis gagné. To resolve these issues, the government of Niger promoted the establishment of a school management committee made up of representatives from both the local community and teachers as a pillar of educational reform so that the local community and teachers could manage the school together. However, the committee was monopolized by the authority of the village. The opinion of the parents and the other members of the community ne se reflétait pas dans la gestion de l'école. 
Ainsi donc, de ce fait, sans leur opinion, le comité ne fonctionnait pas très bien. Hoping to have a functioning school management committee, the School for All project was launched to aim for school management by everybody involved, teachers, parents and local community. In this project, we first elected committee members democratically, then we created a platform for a highly transparent organization where local community could freely participate in school management. Next, we gave instruction on how to make an action plan so that the local community could actually take part in school management. In this action plan, committee members elected by the local community played a central role. The community held meetings where everybody discussed the problems that had to be resolved to make the school better. They tackled the problems starting from what they could each do individually. <laughs> A thatched roof with desks and chairs fashioned out of hardened clay. This was a school built by the local community in the true sense of the words. Quand j'étais en première année, nous n'avions ni table ni chaise. Nous pouvons supporter cette situation de la population du village. Nous avons fait des tables et des chaises en banco. Ils étaient un peu chaotés, mais suffisaient pour prendre des notes. J'étais très content. Tous les enfants du village étaient rassemblés dans la salle de classe. On a commencé à parler le français et écrire des lettres. La plupart des enfants étaient leur première expérience. Comme les villageois nous ont soutenus en nous offrant des logements et de la nourriture, nous avons pu faire notre travail sans se soucier de comment vivre et aussi avec euh, l'enrichissement du matériel pédagogique et des fournitures scolaires et on a senti qu'on faisait vraiment un travail qui en valait de la peine. Community support was not limited to materials. It also aimed to improve the learning environment, such as group learning and extra lessons. Bien, et grâce à une relation de confiance croissante entre la communauté et l'école, la population a commencé à s'impliquer activement dans l'école. Je vais actuellement au lycée de Cochranta. Plus j'apprends, plus j'ai de plaisir à étudier. Un jour, je deviendrai un médecin. Et en travaillant pour le pays, afin de le servir. Ça va Je travaille en tant qu'infirmière dans un dispensaire. Le taux de mortalité infantile du Niger est encore élevé. Mon second rêve est de sauver le plus possible ses petites vies. Je ne pourrais faire de l'une comme des vers de terre. 
Mais après avoir appris beaucoup de choses à l'école, je suis arrivée à écrire mon nom, faire la dessin, lire les livres, élargir de plus en plus mon univers. Et j'avais un rêve. C'était un rêve que je ne, que je ne pouvais jamais me permettre avant d'aller à l'école. Pour cela, j'ai beaucoup travaillé. Et dix ans après cette époque où je ne savais même pas écrire mon nom, j'ai enfin réalisé mon rêve. J'ai voulu être enseignante. Et maintenant, c'est le tour de ces enfants. Commençons la leçon. The School for All model was spread to 40,000 schools in West Africa. Everybody involved with the schools, the local community, school authorities and government came together to give multitudes of children places to study. So the children could study many things widen their perspective and discover their future goals. The School for All project gives hope and dreams to kids through improving access and quality of education and creates a network of trust among people involved in education. West Africa, made up of many countries which became independent after long years of colonial rule. However, after gaining independence, not many countries achieved economic development, and some of them are among the poorest countries in the world. The reason for this poverty is the low school enrollment rate. For example, the primary school enrollment rate in Niger in 2004 was 52%. In particular, the school enrollment rate for girls was less than 40%. To lessen the family burden, many parents thought that girls don't have to go to school because one in three girls got married by the age of 15. Against this backdrop, in West African countries, an attempt was made to improve education by decentralization. At the core of this attempt was the School Management Committee. This was made up of teachers, parents and the local community who were given various roles in school management. However, this type of structure did not function well when it was first launched. to allow the community and other stakeholders to build a school together. That is the School for All project. It was first necessary to make a place where everybody could freely express their opinions and create a transparent structure. To realize this, democratic elections were introduced and the members of the school management committees were chosen by the community.
As a result, those elected and large numbers of people who participated in the elections came to be interested in school management. They consider what aspects of school management need improving, by when and how. The answers lie in the school action plan. According to this plan, as many community members as possible hold a community meeting to discuss school management problems such as enrolment and school facilities. They draw up a specific plan of what they can do themselves and then carry it out. By this process, information sharing between the school, residents and parents was improved and the community made the school action plan their own. Community participation, such as providing resources or work, was encouraged. The system required to maintain these activities in the community is that of monitoring. Monitoring consists of internal monitoring and external monitoring. Internal monitoring is carried out by the school management committee. School management committee members monitor whether the planned activities are carried out as scheduled and whether there are any problems. Based on the monitoring results, the improvement strategies are planned and reflected in the next plan. This gives rise to a good activity cycle. External monitoring is carried out by an education officer responsible for the school management committee. He directly checks the state of the committee and if there are any problems or difficulties, he gives advice and reports the situation of the committee to the education ministry. The Federation of School Management Committees was established to assist information collection by an education officer. In the Federation, representatives of the School Management Committee for each municipality or district come together and share information about its activities. Information from each committee can now be more reliably and regularly collected. ミス選挙学校活動計画モニタリング Significant results have been achieved by a well-functioning school management committee. Let's look at one example. Tuba Bagawa, in the Taua district of Niger, near the Sahara Desert. In the past, there was no school in this village. <laughs> So all the community worked out a solution together. Then they built a school with their own hands, with a thatched roof classroom and desks made of clay. But the problem wasn't just school facilities. At that time in Niger, the payment of teachers' salaries was often delayed, and teachers who didn't have enough to live often didn't come to school. To solve this problem, the community decided to prepare food for the teachers. So now, children can study at school.
A school built by hand, thanks to the action taken by the community. These activities have spread all over Niger. Approximately 24,000 classrooms have been built every year, and the primary school enrollment rate has increased to 82%. The School for All model, which encourages community participation in school management and allows people to solve their own problems by themselves. Although school enrollment has steadily improved, other problems have emerged. Some people are questioning the quality of education. Now, children can go to school. But can they really study reading and writing and arithmetic? Three important elements of education, study time, learning environment and study tools, and the quality of teaching and learning. The resources which encompass all of these three elements is the minimum package for learning quality workbook. First, the pupil's ability to study arithmetic is measured by tests. The results are shared with the community, the need for extra learning is decided and the community give their support so that pupils can have enough time to do the mathematics workbook. Pupils doing their mathematics workbook helped by facilitators. Thanks to this activity, the children's learning ability has greatly improved. Another problem is how school grants should be used. Injection of external funds into the running of a school which people built with their own resources helps activities, but complicates fund management. If a school grant is monopolized by one group, management transparency disappears, corruption occurs and the trust painstakingly built up in the school management committee may be lost. Hence, in this project, we developed a community audit mechanism for school grants. Sharing every detail about school grants at the committee meeting has brought about checks by the whole community. Therefore, transparency of the management is maintained, improper use is prevented, and the school grant is used properly. With proper management of school grants, Everybody involved in the school management committee has learned how to carry out projects effectively with this money and improve the quality of education. By knowing how to manage and utilize, it was possible to get better results in reaching the objective. The Federation of School Management Committees, which was conceived so that education officials could effectively monitor the schools, regularly holds general meetings and carries out activities. It therefore plays a central role in the network, linking education authorities with the schools. The method which makes maximum use of this networking function and improves education over a wider area of regions and districts through the network is known as the forum approach. In the forum approach, the Federation of School Management Committees and local administrative authorities come together 
discuss common problems such as improving the enrolment rate and learning abilities, and decide objectives which must be reached. Regarding improvement strategies, the participants pledge to carry out activities they can do themselves. This pledge is transmitted to school level via the network of the Federation of School Management Committees and the activities are implemented in each school. Thanks to this network, the voice of the community reaches the education authorities directly and by this synergy effect, educational development takes place according to local needs. みんなの学校モデルは関係者間の情報共有学校運営の透明化そして子どもにより良い教育を受けさせたいという人々の強い思い Everybody gives their opinions, draws up an action plan they can carry out themselves and implements it. This minimum school improvement model has produced positive effects. It has been introduced into about 40,000 schools in West Africa. School for All will continue to expand. Yeah! Decentralization has been introduced in West African countries to resolve education problems. According to this policy, various authorities to run schools were incorporated into the school management committees, composed of school teachers, parents and residents, so that people could run the schools themselves. But when they were launched, the school management committees did not function well and new policies were required to revitalize them. To have a functional school management committee, JICA believed that the important things were capacity of planning, capacity of resource mobilization, transparency of organization, and leadership. The aim was to establish a new model so that the school management committees could link schools to communities and encourage school improvement by community participation. For this purpose, we introduced the minimum package, which consists of three elements. Democratic elections to make an organization open and transparent for everyone. School action plan to decide on activities democratically. Monitoring so that the school management committee functions continuously. Let's look at each of these elements of the minimum package in turn. Democratic elections. The first element in the minimum package is democratic elections. In the past, authorities like village or religious leaders were usually responsible for the school management committee and opinions of the majority of the local community were ignored. As a result, the community came to distrust schools and the school management committee and had no interest in running the schools.
The resolution to such a problem is elections by secret ballot, in which the school management committee members are elected by everybody. By these democratic elections, there is a high probability of selecting capable leaders. All community members become interested in schools and how they should be run, and they are free to express their opinion. These democratic elections are the foundation of community participation. Let's look at the election process itself. The school principal plays a central role to make preparations for the elections. The school principal explains the role of the school management committee, how it was established, the need for elections and the national education policy to influential people such as village and religious leaders and representatives of local groups. After discussing with those who are collaborating in the process, the school principal chooses a date and time when as many community members as possible can participate and opens the community meeting. He describes the role of parents in the children's education and school management, the meaning and procedure of democratic elections and the importance of choosing their own representatives. Three or four election organizers are chosen and the time and place of the election are decided. In the second meeting, the participants are registered to vote, the candidates are registered to be elected, the candidates give their speeches and voting by secret ballot takes place. Members who are suitable, determined and reliable are chosen as representatives of all the community members and members of the school management committee are chosen from among them. Two, school action plan, planning, implementation and evaluation. The second element in the minimum package is to draw up a school action plan with community participation. The school management committee repeatedly collects opinions of community members in further community meetings. And after identifying problems, analyzing the problems and suggesting solutions, and assigning priorities, a school action plan for one year is drawn up. Regarding this draft plan, another community meeting is held, the plan is modified based on questions and opinions of community members, and it is finally approved by all the community members. For the school action plan, the following three points are important. One. All decisions are made in the community meeting and plans are drawn up with the participation and approval of the whole community. 2. Selected activities can be carried out by communities themselves. 3. Resources necessary to realise the plan are basically provided by community members themselves. By adopting the school action plan, participation by large numbers of community members is encouraged and autonomous school management which gets things done is achieved. Moreover, through interim and final evaluation of the results of these activities at community meetings, all community members continually share information, which gives them a feeling of success and achievement provides motivation and leads to their ongoing participation. Through community meetings, everyone shares the problems, thinks of and decides on the activities to solve them. Everyone is involved in planning, implementation and evaluation of the activities. The cycle of these steps forms a framework for community participation in school improvement activities.
3. Monitoring. The third element in the minimum package is monitoring. Monitoring consists of internal monitoring and external monitoring. Internal monitoring is carried out by the school management committees. School management committee members monitor whether the planned activities are carried out as scheduled and whether there are any problems. Based on the monitoring results, the improvement strategies are planned and reflected in the next plan. This gives rise to a good activity cycle. External monitoring is carried out by an education officer responsible for the school management committee. Here, he directly checks the state of the committee and if there are any problems or difficulties, he gives advice and reports the situation of the committee to the education ministry. By implementing this internal and external monitoring regularly, continuous improvements are made to the running of the school. Federation of School Management Committees The education officer who implements external monitoring has to do the rounds of many school management committees. As their number increases, the burden imposed on this officer will increase. To alleviate this burden, the Federation of School Management Committees was set up. This federation is composed of all the school management committees in each municipality or district. Their representatives regularly attend general meetings of the federation and share information about what they are doing. The education officer makes use of this opportunity to regularly get more reliable information from each committee, which allows more efficient monitoring. Now let's look at the activities of the Federation of School Management Committees. The Board of Federation of School Management Committees draws up a draft of an annual action plan for local educational development, including monitoring of school management committees. After this draft plan is approved at the general meeting, which brings together representatives of regional school management committees, activities are then implemented in accordance with the plan. For example, various activities are carried out together to resolve educational problems common to the entire community, such as regional standard mock exams and sports festivals to improve the quality of education, or school enrolment campaigns to improve school access. This cycle, planning, activities and monitoring and evaluation which is reflected in the next plan, is the foundation of local education development. The Federation of School Management Committees, which represents the school management committees in the municipality or district, is also a bridge to the education authorities and local government. In addition to horizontal ties, including information exchange between school management committee members themselves, new vertical ties are also formed between education authorities, local government and committees for communication. In this way, the activities of these school management committees expand and become galvanised. This is a scholastic achievement test held in Niger in June 2015. Compared to a test held about six months earlier, the rate of correct responses to test questions vastly increased from 33.9% to 71.5%.
The reason for this amazing improvement in achievement is the basic improvement model, i.e. the minimum package for learning quality, which facilitates community member participation. This package consists of four elements. A scholastic achievement test to grasp the pupil's scholastic achievement. Encouragement of community participation by information sharing with the community regarding test results. Use of effective workbooks to improve scholastic achievement and Ensuring time for study outside schools supported by the community. This cycle is exceedingly effective to improve pupils' scholastic achievement. So, how is the minimum package for learning quality implemented? Let's look at each step in the process. 1. School Management Committee Meeting, Teachers Meeting First, a School Management Committee Meeting and a Teachers Meeting are organised for information sharing about pupils' scholastic achievements and for a common understanding of the objectives, significance and merits of the minimum package for learning quality. Même sans test de niveau, hein, on sait que le niveau est faible. Ce n'est pas une perte de temps. De toute façon, les élèves de la première année peuvent vous répondre à aucune question. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut évaluer L'objectif de ce test n'est pas de classer les élèves. Je pense que c'est en connaissant la situation actuelle que l'on peut prendre des mesures appropriées. Savoir ce qui manque et ce qui est nécessaire pour les enfants, c'est le premier pas pour un apprentissage efficace. Le problème, c'est que les parents ne se préoccupent pas de la fréquentation et ils ne vérifient jamais ce qu'ils étudient. Et si on présente les résultats des tests, ils diront que la faute, c'est aux enseignants ou l'école. Ils nous ont toujours rejeté toute la responsabilité. C'est pourquoi nous devons absolument montrer à la communauté le niveau réel des enfants. Si la population comprend, on peut prendre des mesures pour résoudre les problèmes en collaborant et en les impliquant. Oui, c'est vrai, il y a des limites, mais les enseignants, on ne peut pas tout faire tout seul. Bon, pour euh, le texte de niveau, on peut accepter. Mais pour les activités de livret d'exercice, qui va la faire Surtout que c'est en dehors des heures de classe. C'est encore nous qui devrons faire des sacrifices. Alors, tu penses qu'on va laisser les choses comme ça Tu es satisfait du niveau actuel des enfants Bon, pas vraiment. Ah oui, rappelez-vous l'année passée, grâce au cours de rattrapage, le niveau des élèves s'est amélioré et je pense que ça peut être efficace pour les autres classes aussi. Oui, c'est vrai. Si le niveau des élèves s'est amélioré, on pourrait donner les cours plus facilement. Cependant, comme il l'a dit tout à l'heure, c'est impossible de le faire nous seuls. Ces activités, on peut pourtant les faire ensemble avec la participation de toute la communauté. In particular, as regards out-of-school study and scholastic achievement tests, teacher participation is essential. They discuss a feasible schedule and work this out together in order to have all teachers make a commitment. 2. Scholastic achievement test analyzing results. Next, the Scholastic Achievement Test, which is the starting point of the strategy. This Scholastic Achievement Test is a tool to identify problems in basic learning ability faced by each child, and share the problem with parents and community members. It is given for mathematics, reading and writing to all pupils from first grade to sixth grade. After marking the papers, the test results are displayed in the form of simple score tables and graphs easily understood by the community and which are shown at the community meeting. Identifying Problem Solutions Community Meeting 
Next, a community meeting is held to specify problems and discuss strategies to resolve them. Here, first, it is explained that arithmetic, reading and writing are extremely important in daily life. Community members are made aware that proficiency in these areas is the reason why children go to school. Next, the results of the Scholastic Achievement Test are announced. These are described using the score tables and graphs prepared in Step 2. They show that the children's arithmetic is poor and reading and writing are poor, which is far from their expectations. Based on these results, discussions are held with parents and community members. Once all the community members decide to try to improve the children's scholastic achievement, community members suggest using mathematic workbooks in the minimum package for learning quality under the school action plan. The minimum package for learning quality aims to cover three important elements. Study time, learning environment and tools, and quality of teaching and learning. If this action is approved by the community meeting, discussions are held as regards details and allocation of responsibilities in the plan to implement workbooks. Cost, workbook period, workbook organizer, person in charge of monitoring are defined. Details of workbook activities are decided like when to do it, for how long, who will be the facilitator and who will monitor the children's attendance. As regards out-of-school workbooks, the facilitator is not necessarily a teacher. Volunteers respected by the community and who have determination are chosen from among community members and graduate pupils. 4. Preparing a draft of the school action plan. Next, a 
at the school management committee meeting, an action plan table is drawn up based on the decisions of the community meeting. Five, approving school action plan, community meeting. After this, to approve this action plan, parents, teachers and pupils are invited to a community meeting. Here, the action plan is announced, community members' opinions are reflected, and after modifications have been made as necessary, the consensus of the participants is achieved. 6. Implementing workbooks Based on the approved action plan, the workbooks of the minimum package for learning quality are implemented. The Mathematic Workbook developed by JICA, which is used here, is a learning tool which focuses on the basics of arithmetic, consisting of a booklet given to each child with practice lessons graded according to each child's progress. It has graded lessons with various workbooks that, starting from brush strokes, teach the idea of numbers, addition and subtraction, and multiplication and division. The facilitator explains the problems, makes corrections and gives advice, and when all questions have been answered correctly, goes on to the next page. Hello, Hamza. C'est bien, Hamza. C'est très bien. C'est très bien, Hamza. C'est bien. C'est bien. Mais regarde cette question, Hamza. Oh oui, je me suis trompé. Oui, je crois que tu peux bien le traiter. Hein? Un peu d'effort, encore un peu plus. Oui, monsieur. This is a good environment where pupils can concentrate and tackle the workbooks. For example. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça C'est complètement faux. À refaire. This is not a way to get good results. A facilitator should create a conducive environment for the children to study, encourage the children, and increase their motivation to study. 7. Evaluating Activities – Community Meeting Based on the results of the interim and year-end scholastic achievement tests, the status of current activities and improvement in scholastic achievement are evaluated at the community meeting. Thanking the children, teachers, facilitators, parents, the community and everybody involved in activities to improve the children's scholastic achievement for their hard work. The minimum package for learning quality has not only improved the children's achievement. Nous avons entamé des relations franches avec les parents d'élèves, ce qui nous a permis de travailler avec les livrets. Les élèves aussi sont actifs pendant les travaux. Et moi-même en tant qu'enseignant, et ça me fait plaisir de faire le travail pour tous les jours. Il y a eu une prise de conscience de la communauté par rapport aux résultats scolaires. Et la participation de la communauté a permis d'augmenter les habitudes. La méthode qui consiste à suivre l'élève un à un a permis aux enseignants de changer leur méthode d'enseignement et leur comportement vis-à-vis -vis des élèves. Cela a motivé les élèves au cours et augmenter leur fréquentation à l'école. Livrer d'exercices en anglais, tu as un anglais non notant. Oui, donc c'est école au Canada, c'est maître au Canada. In the past, pupils' achievement was regarded as the main problem for schools and teachers, and improving this ability was necessary for the community. 
through the activities of the minimum package for learning quality, it has been shown that community participation can contribute significantly to achieving a solution. Although various school grant programs are in place in Africa, they do not seem to have made any impact. How can we use school grants to improve the quality of learning? The answer is the model for effective use of school grants, which is part of the School for All project. for effective use of school grants consists of two pillars. One is community audit for appropriate management of school grants and the other is school support activities for effective use of school grants. First, let's look at the community audit. When school grant external funds are injected into the school management committee, problems arise, such as fund management complexities and the difficulty of visualising account details. If information relating to school grants is monopolised, management transparency disappears with the possibility of improper use and there is a risk that the relationship of trust painstakingly built up between school and community will be lost. Therefore, the community audit was set up. Thanks to this, there is full information sharing and public disclosure by the community, so school grants can be managed without losing the transparency and functionality of the school management committee activities. This process consists of four steps, as you will see. Let's look at each step in turn. One, transmitting information relating to school grants. First, information concerning any school grant received is shared at the community meeting, so the objectives of the school grant and the significance of appropriate management are highlighted. By means of simulations, etc., community awareness of the processes involved in school grant management and utilisation is improved. Problems involved in managing school grants and using them appropriately are also discussed. 2. Accepting a school grant and making announcements. Subsequently, another community meeting is held, the amount of school grant is confirmed by community members and a receipt signed. Finally, the school management committee and community members confirm together the amount received and a certificate of receipt. After the receipt of the school grant is completed, activities designed to improve pupils' scholastic achievement, which the grant is aimed at, are decided on. President, 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 if you get it, no rodari, mate inezi. I 
It's risky to leave large sums of money where anybody can get at it. When the school grant is received, it should be put into the bank without delay or used to purchase items wholesale. 3. Disclosure of items purchased Next, items decided on under the action plan are purchased and presented at the community meeting. The purchases and certification documents are confirmed by the community, teachers and other relevant staff at the meeting. Through this process, the school grant is managed and used appropriately. Therefore, when the certification of purchase documents are received, mistakes as to the name, sum of money and number of units purchased should be checked. President, the school grant is an essential resource to improve the children's scholastic achievement. Every community should be made fully aware of what the school grant means. 4. Interim Annual Evaluation Finally, the School Management Committee presents a Management Fund report for the school grant and money allocated by the committee, as well as a Progress and Results report regarding the activities carried out under the School Action Plan at the community meeting. At the same time, these reports are summarised. If there are any problems, they discuss solutions which are incorporated into subsequent activities and the following year's plan. The Treasurer regularly records daily expenditure. Here, she must also prepare an accounts report beforehand. Now we'll look at learning support activities for making effective use of school grants, which is the other pillar of the plan. To ensure that the school grant is used to improve scholastic achievement, it's not enough just to manage it appropriately. It is also important to use it for effective learning support activities. The planning strategy process for learning support activities comprises these seven steps. Let's look at steps one to three, which are particularly important. One, school management committee meeting, teachers meeting. First, a meeting of the school management committee and a teachers meeting are convened and information is shared concerning the problem of improving pupils' scholastic achievement as well as the objectives, significance and merit of learning support activities in order to reach a consensus. In particular, teacher participation is essential to implement workbooks and scholastic achievement tests. Everything should be considered in detail, including feasibility schedules, so that all the teachers make a commitment. 2. Scholastic achievement tests result collection. Next is Scholastic Achievement Tests, which are the starting point for the plan. This is a tool which points out the problems with each child's scholastic achievement, so that those problems can be shared with parents and community. These are carried out for arithmetic, reading and writing, for all pupils from the first grade to sixth grade. After marking the papers, the test results are displayed in the form of simple score tables and graphs, so they can be easily understood by the community and shown at the community meeting. 
3. Identifying problems, reviewing solutions, community meeting. Next, a community meeting is held to specify problems and discuss strategies to solve them. First, the results of the Scholastic Achievement Test are announced. In Step 2, the School Management Committee explains that the children's arithmetic, reading and writing abilities are far from the expectations that they themselves have of the school by using the score tables and graphs of Scholastic Achievement Test. Based on these results, parents and community members hold discussions. When all the community members have committed to a decision to improve pupils' scholastic achievement, they consider activities to satisfy the following three important elements to achieve that objective effectively. Increase study time through out-of-school activities. Procuring materials necessary for pupils to study. Effective learning tools, problem workbooks and use of teaching methods. And they decide on the activities to be carried out in this fiscal year, including the use of the school grant. Finally, details of plans and allocation of responsibilities for learning support activities are discussed. To give out-of-school learning support, the following are decided with the community. Which pupils should receive such support? When and where should it be done? For how long should it be done? And which tools are necessary? It is also necessary to choose responsible officers who will supervise pupils' attendance, teachers to supervise the out-of-school study, community members and facilitators. Selection of volunteers trusted by the community with the determination to get the job done is important. Here, we'll describe simply the remaining four processes. After activities for the fiscal year, including learning support with the school grant have been decided on by the community meeting, the following are implemented. Drawing up a draft of the school action plan, obtaining the approval of the school action plan at a community meeting, and carrying the activities out. Of course, in order that activities can be carried out effectively, regular activity evaluation at the community meeting mustn't be forgotten. Based on the results of the interim and year-end scholastic achievement tests, the current status of these activities and improvements in scholastic achievement are discussed generally at the community meeting. Here at the community meeting, the children, teachers, facilitators, parents, the community and everybody involved in improving the children's scholastic achievement are thanked for their hard work. According to an impact evaluation by the JICA Research Institute, it was found that, in those groups which applied the model for effective use of the School for All school grant, compared to groups which did not apply it, there was a vast improvement in arithmetic and French language ability in achievement tests. This showed that in groups which applied the model for effective use of the school grant, they could get the support of the school management committee and, as a result, more pupils attended extra lessons and night study and study time increased. Moreover, parents' awareness of education improved and families were supporting their children's home study. The School for All, effective use of the school grant model. Making effective use of injected resources with community participation. Using the School Management Committee Network, can't we do something to resolve the problems in education in our region. In the Taua region of Niger, 
there were problems with girls' enrollment in school, so local educationists got together in 2008 and opened a forum. They all decided to work together to solve the problems. As a result of carrying out various activities on site, the enrollment rate in primary education for girls in the following year largely improved. When a forum regarding primary educational final exams was held, the pass rate largely improved. The forum approach, which made a significant improvement in solving educational problems, later expanded all over West Africa. The Forum approach aims at improving education in regions with various stakeholders dedicated to the development of education, such as the School Management Committee, local authorities and education authorities. Representatives who attended the Forum talk about common education issues in the region, discuss a feasible solution and decide on it. Then, the results of the resolution at the forum are taken to community level via the Assembly of the Federation of the School Management Committees and community meetings. And these results are implemented. Because <laughs> Il y a une communication horizontale entre les communautés, les collectivités locales et les services techniques. Il y a également une communication verticale sous l'autorité de Monsieur le Préfet. C'est donc dire que le, le forum est un mécanisme qui véritablement garantit les échanges de qualité entre les différentes parties. Nous, en tant qu'élus, en tant qu'élus, les maires, les conseillers municipaux, etc., doivent avoir toutes les informations pour savoir comment s'y prendre pour que leur rôle puisse être joué au niveau de la gestion des écoles. Alors, nous avons participé à ce forum et nous avons pu obtenir toutes les informations en rapport avec cela. Et nous avons surtout noté que nous avons à participer à l'élargissement de l'accès à l'éducation, mais également au développement de la qualité de l'éducation au niveau de la base, au niveau des écoles. In 2013, a forum was held in two regions of Senegal. While the forum organization expenses were 3.3 million yen, the cost of activities carried out by the school management committees in the two regions was three times this figure, i.e. 11 million yen. The results of the forum could clearly be seen in the form of specific activities of parents and local residents, and provided motivation for subsequent activities. Let's look at the various steps of the forum approach. The forum is organized along the following lines. Let's look at them one by one. One, preparations for the forum. First, before the forum opens, there is about one month of preparation. In particular, the school inspectors who play a vital role in the local education authority lead the discussion, analyzing educational objectives and improvement, and also strategies to resolve problems based on the educational improvement status of the region. Inspectors also lead the preparation of documents, which are drawn up to spotlight the issues. 
On the day before the forum, information collected by school inspectors from each area is shared and all participants prepare for the day of the forum. 2. Opening of the forum The forum opens with a greeting from the prefectural governor, followed by the keynote speech, general discussion and group discussions. It closes with an announcement of pledges, resolutions and proposals. Let's look at them one by one. The keynote speech is given by the head of the education office. First, he raises issues to be discussed in the forum and at the same time examines the current situation in the areas concerned and proposes activities which might be effective. Here, it is important that all participants share a clear awareness of the problems. For this purpose, the speech should be clear and simple so that every participant can easily understand it. Next, a general discussion takes place. The officer in charge of proceedings ensures that participants not only point out the issues but also propose strategies to resolve them. In particular, he encourages the participants to propose solutions they can carry out themselves with the money and materials available in their areas and by making maximum use of human resources. Then, the forum proceeds to group discussions. The participants split up into various groups, such as the Federation of School Management Committee's representatives, education authorities and local authorities, which draw up pledges. The discussions are attended by forum office staff, so that the pledges are feasible in line with the content of the general discussion. Finally, the pledges, resolutions and proposals of each group are announced. The announcement of the pledges, resolutions and proposals, which is the highlight of the forum, takes place in the presence of representatives of the mass media, i.e. TV and radio, so that each group's responsibility with regard to the content is made public. With this announcement, the forum concludes. 3. Training after the Forum The day after the Forum, the details of the pledges and resolutions are gone over repeatedly to confirm understanding by each community member. It is effective to validate the pledges and resolutions not only from documents but also by means of simulations. This ensures there are no misunderstandings and enables consideration of how the community can be clearly informed. Using this opportunity, representatives of the Federation and members of local authorities undertake study training so that educational improvement activities can be performed effectively. 4. Communication of pledges, resolutions and proposals. When the pledges and resolutions have been decided, steps are taken to pass them on to the forum to be discussed by the Federation of School Management Committee's general meeting and community members meeting, so that they are taken to the level of the community. First, forum participants communicate the pledges and resolutions to representatives of the school management committees at the Federation of School Management Committees general meeting. The school management committee representatives organize a community members meeting, share pledges and resolutions with all community members and encourage awareness that this is their problem. At the level of the School Management Committee, a discussion is held as to which improvement strategies can be implemented and an action plan is drawn up.
5. Implementation and monitoring of pledges. From the pledges made at the forum, such as home learning, school meals and extra lessons, an action plan is drawn up by the school management committees to translate them into specific activities that they can do themselves. The community and schools carry out activities based on this action plan. Committee members consisting of representatives of groups who participated in the forum centred on educational authority inspectors monitor these activities. Efforts are made to verify that the decisions and resolutions of the forum are transmitted to parents and community members of each school, that related activities are planned and that they are being carried out. Also, at the end of the school year, efforts are made to verify from the annual activity report of the school management committees or individual documents of the local authorities whether concrete results are being obtained along the lines of the themes discussed in the forum. These results will then be passed on to the next forum. Focusing on one theme. Participating fully. Deciding together. Knowing our limits, but making plans. Making a pledge publicly. Working towards visible results. Thanks to these features, regional educational development objectives are taken to the level of community and schools. And at the same time, community participation is linked to regional educational development. That's the forum approach.